Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for January. What this person is thinking, we have two of cups, four of pentacles in reverse. I want clarity. Two of cups in someone's thoughts is that they're thinking of you fondly, right? There is mutual admiration, love here. Why is two of cups here for what this person is thinking? Seven of swords. Yeah, this person, I don't... We have abusive relationship and open relationship here. Uh, with your oracles as well. So I do see someone who was... De they were deceptive within a connection. Was this person wanting a relationship but also wanting to keep their options open? They're still very attracted to you. Um, they're wanting to come back around Hermit in reverse. Some of you, they're thinking about sneaking back, right? But definitely I'm seeing lust. They're lusting for you because I do see the naked bodies here as well, right? Why is four of pentacles in reverse here for what this person is thinking? Some of you are dealing with a married person, married man, woman, or they were committed to you and they were deceptive. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. This is someone who's confused and they're keeping their options open. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups. They're playing the field. With open relationship, we have open relationships are not for everyone. It requires a lot of honesty, honesty and trust for it to work. Careful not to forget. Paired with abusive relationship. If you find yourself in an abusive relationship, it's time to put a stop to it. Know you are deserving of real love. Yeah, there was a soulmate bond here, but there was also this person sabotaged. They're not changing their ways. And I'm getting a very stubborn energy if I look at the spread. Devil, Hierophant, Emperor. Although they're coming through upright, Some of you, this person's in an unhappy marriage, right? And the reason they're in this is because of status. They're keeping up with appearances here, right? But there's something very superficial I'm getting. How this person will be viewing you, we have temperance in reverse, page of swords upright. This person feels that you want to communicate or you're seeking answers, clarity when it comes to them. Temperance in reverse is a card of impatience. Some of you, you did pull your energy back um, because of the differences, right? Uh, could have been an opposites attract or just you're two very different people. You're not seeing eye to eye here. Why is this person viewing Leo as temperance in reverse? Why is this person viewing Leo as temperance in reverse? Chariot. Some of you, there was a distance with Sagittarius and Chiria, but they view you as someone who's conflicted, one foot in, one foot out, but you are looking back at them. There's a restless energy here, King of Wands, yeah, that you're disappointed with what happened here between the both of you, and that you still think about them, you watch them, that is what they're, how they're perceiving you. Whether that's true or not, you would know. Why is Page of Swords here? Why is Page of Swords here for how this person will be viewing Leo? Page of Wands Devil, that you're obsessively stalking them, you're obsessed with them. This person thinks you're obsessed with them, Leo. Seems a bit full of themselves. Some of you were committed and married, you may have children with this person. Yeah, as I say, that Hierophant wanted to flip through. Your overall energy for the year, Leo, we have Tower Upright, Three of Cups in Reverse. Yeah, you're letting go of things, places, people, places, things that aren't serving you. And the universe is helping you, right? And some of you, this is an end to a third party situation. 
you're not wanting to be a part of any open relationship is what it seems here. Why is the tower here for Leo's overall energy? But there is destruction here, things falling apart, so you can begin again, right? So you can build a solid foundation moving forward. Why is the tower here? Ace of Swords, yeah, you have your clarity now, right? If there was confusion. This person's at a crossroads, right? They're confused. They're having a hard time making a decision. So some of you are removing yourself. You're helping this person make that decision by moving away, right? You're saying, I, I don't want to be part of your instability. And some of you are letting this person know what time it is. You're saying it as it is, and you're expressing yourself clearly. There can be some arguments here, but there is the truth is coming out here is what I'm seeing with that tower base of swords. Whether through your spirituality, your intuition, or you um, catching this person with that seven of swords. Why is three of cups in reverse here? You may catch them in a lie, or you have. Why is three of cups in reverse here? Seven of wands, yeah, you're saying, you're pushing this person away. You're guarding yourself. Rightfully so. You know the truth and you're protecting your energy. Three of Cups in reverse. You're leaving the situation out in the cold and you're saying no second chances. Three of Wands. You're turning your back. Yeah. I don't see you reconciling or coming together. And because this is about, you know, the year, it's your overall energy, this can be other situations in your life as well, right? friends, a work situation. You're letting go of what is no longer serving you or what's not built on a stable ground to begin with, right? So I do see you cleaning house to some extent here. How this person will be feeling about you, we have Emperor Hierophant. How they're feeling is that they're saying that I want to do the right thing now. Um, I don't want to play games with you. A side message I'm getting, this won't be for everyone. There may be someone new you're getting to know, right? And it's too early. The energy hasn't quite... There's no direction here yet. But this person, if you are dealing with someone new and that abusive open relationship is not resonating, um, yeah, this can be someone who's responsible. It's They're coming through as a masculine energy here. Some of them could be in a position of a leadership, an authority figure of some sort, a teacher. They seem to be coming through as mature. Why is Emperor here? Hierophant again and strength in reverse. Yeah, this person's doing their best to restrain themselves here when it comes to you. Aries energy. They, there is love for you with that Two of Cups, King of Cups. Why is Emperor here for how this person will be feeling? I'm seeing someone who's holding back. There may have been control issues um, that this person, you know, they may have control issues when you were dealing with them. They were very difficult to work with, can be a very rigid energy, right? And a lot, some of you that if this person's in another commitment, that is why they're not communicating, right? With that page of swords in reverse, there's separation here, two of swords. Knight of Wands, yeah, this person is, they're emotionally clinging to you, don't be fooled. This Hierophant Emperor is a front, they're wearing a mask, because behind that we have Eight of Cups in Reverse, Five of Cups. They're saying that you're obsessed with them, but they're equally obsessed here. Devil again, Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, feeling insecure. They're still physically very attracted to you, but it's almost someone who's in denial, Two of Swords, are trying to push their emotions away 
some of you, this is a no contact situation. And it's almost this person is too proud to admit they're wrong. I'm getting that here as well. They know. See, Leo, if someone did you wrong here, right? They put you in a third party. Whatever this, this person was doing, they know they're wrong. Why is Hierophant here? For how this person will be feeling. If this person has any means of watching you, they are. They're very sly. Yeah, Four of Swords. So, yeah, they're saying, I, I see it's no communication. They're not communicating, but they're keeping an eye on you. And this is also someone who holds ba back communication in order to regain control over the situation themselves. There can be a fear of losing oneself. But they're very anxious and they're very obsessed here is what I'm getting. Because in their actions, we have Eight of Swords, Upright, Two of Wands in Reverse. Indecision, insecurities. So it's, you know, they, they appear as the Emperor, someone who takes charge. They take action, but they're actually Eight of Swords. There's a lot of self-doubt here. And this person's going round and round. They're overthinking. And they think about you a lot, Leo. Devil, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. But you wouldn't be able to tell. This is someone who's wearing a mask. Why is Hierophant here for how this person will be feeling? This seems to be someone you dealt with in the past. or Why is Hierophant here for how this person will be feeling? Three of Wands, yeah. Waiting and watching, not really taking action. But they are watching because they look at that. Wow. Some of you are getting to know uh, someone at a distance and they're uh, wanting to make plans to see you and to have some passion you know, their physical attraction is through the roof. There's no doubt about that. But it's also someone who's trying to control themselves, right? They don't want to appear weak with that strength in reverse. How you'll be viewing them, Leo, we have 10 of wands in reverse, four of swords upright. You're viewing them as someone who's on a break. They're not putting in the effort, 10 of wands in reverse. You feel they're dropping the situation. Uh, you may feel that they have a lot going on, right? Because with the emperor, uh, usually does have a lot of responsibilities. So you feel they're not quite giving this situation any attention. And yeah, you're on a break here, Four of Swords. A lot of you, no contact, no communication. And the distance for some of you was adding to the confusion between the both of you. Some of you, it's almost I'm getting your dodging a bullet here with that Seven of Swords Emperor. This is a control freak. And they're not the most loyal, it seems, with that open relationship. How you'll be feeling, we have Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords in reverse. I like this for you. Um, because I think the situation did bring you a lot of anxiety, headaches. You were constantly obsessing, thinking about this situation, right? And you're coming out of that cycle. Or you're healing is what I'm seeing for you. You feel the situation. There's there's too many obstacles here. And you're not wanting to deal with it. With the Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is Wheel of Fortune here? Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Oh. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse here? For how Leo will be feeling. Yeah, especially if this person's already married, you don't have high hopes for this situation because they're breadcrumbing you in the past and they can be someone who's emotionally manipulative. They're bringing a lot of conflict drama your way and we have the Six of Pentacles he's giving to two people here, right? The two hands. 
So that is why you feel the situation's not in your favor, right? Especially if they have family, children. Why is Wheel of Fortune in reverse for how Leo will be feeling? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, you're, you know, this King of Pentacles energy definitely can be you as well, right? Where you're coming back to Earth here, especially if you were confused, there was illusions, right? I was saying, I was getting in your overall energy. Um, you're very clear here. And a lot of you have been self-reflecting with that Seven of Pentacles. And you're coming to that realization that things aren't moving forward, right? You're not seeing the changes. You're not seeing that growth here in this connection. So you do have a decision to make and a lot of you are leaning in the direction of um, not moving things forward. Why is Nine of Swords in reverse here for how Leo will be feeling? Yeah, you're stepping into your power. I was seeing the Queen of Wands upright. You're taking charge here. Queen of Wands wanting to come through again. Yeah, the situation left you drained, very unhappy. And you were having a hard time releasing this Eight of Cups in reverse. But it's almost a giving up energy here. And you're getting your mojo back. You're feeling more confident. You know your worth here. And some of you, you're starting a new business or you have business work on your mind. And you're definitely seeing growth when it comes to your money. Definitely see that. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. As difficult as it is to um, let go of the past, you it's head over heart for you, uh, Leo. You're doing what's right for you and you're not wanting this confusion in your life right it's either you or it's you know you're not you're not participating is what i'm seeing here potential outcome we have judgment and reverse the devil upright so i was getting this in your energy leo where you were saying no to second chances you're saying the situation is toxic right there could there could have been some codependency here um in the past between the both of you but someone here is turning down a second chance and they're saying, I don't. But there is a level of addiction here in the outcome as well. You both are having a hard time completely letting go, it seems. Why is judgment in reverse? Yeah, you're both is exactly what I'm saying. Um, there's a lot of inner work that needs to be done here as well. Um, there is missing longing for one another, having a hard time letting go, but someone here needs to go within and work on their toxic patterns, some vices they may have, but they're not taking that time to reflect, which is why the devil is upright, right? It's a karmic cycle here. Why is the devil here for Leo's outcome? Yeah, it can be someone's beliefs, um, someone's Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. And that's how we started the reading. Yeah, this is a very, it's a bond that will be hard to break here. Devil, Two of Cups. But some of you, it's a third party situation. I do want to show you, because we have Star Two of Cups, Bottom Deck Energy. For your advice, we had Angel with Love. Trust that your love life is being divinely guided and protected. Your angels know exactly how much information you can handle right now. Yeah, so there may be certain things that are hidden about your love life. But for a lot of you, you know, if you're coming out of a third party, whatever this toxicity is, I see 
a more balanced, equal relationship headed your way. With that devil, Hierophant, Two of Cups, yeah, two people that are on the same page. There's a strong attraction, but there's also commitment. And I see contracts, because devil can also be Saturn, right? With Hierophant, that's our second house Taurus. This can talk about long term. So you are, there is a destined, fated love here for you. So if one situation doesn't work out, it's okay, right? You're looking at the three cups here that have fallen over, which we had at three of cups in reverse in your overall energy. But there's the two cups standing behind you. And here it is, a new beginning. That's more stable. Ace of Pentacles, two of cups. And definitely, it is a general reading, so some of you, it definitely can be this person coming through, um, working on themselves, right? Um, they're changing, they're evolving, and it can work out. If it's not a third party. If it's a third party, I still see that toxicity here. We have heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. Yeah, this person knows they messed up with you but their pride won't let them apologize. They're embarrassed if they've done you wrong. I see that here. And yes, this person may have been running hot and cold, giving you mixed signals. You never knew where you stood with them, causing you to feel restless. But uncertain within yourself, but not anymore with that Queen of Wands. Confusion, uncertain, unclear, unsure. Yeah, Two of Wands and Eight of Swords. They don't know what way to go. They don't know what to do. They're very uncertain. They appear as if they're in control, but internally they're a mess. They're very scattered here. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Confusion. They're confusion. They're, uncer they're confused. They're uncertain, leaving you confused as well, right? We have, I don't have any feelings for you, but I do enjoy our intimate moments. I hope that doesn't change which can be that two of cups devil, right? Addicted to your body, to sex. I'm not sure what their addiction is. To the intimacy. They do have feelings because we had the two of cups twice. We had the eight of cups. So there is cups here. There is emotions, but this can also be someone who avoids, right? They don't want to feel anything with the emperor. I'm really hoping to see you again. I've never given my heart before, but I'm willing to give us a try. Definitely, if it's a new connection, there's no third party. Emperor Hierophant can talk about a solid commitment, right? Um, someone stepping into the masculine energy, wanting to take charge. So it's very promising. Um, if it is a new person, you, you're getting positive vibes, right? This is a general reading. Always listen to your intuition. We can interpret these cards in many ways. So there can be two sets of you, Leo. Some of you are leaving a past situation and others of you, you're attracting a new love here. Star two of cups. But there's an energy here that they're saying they're wanting to see you again. And they're wanting to give this a chance. For your advice, we have friendship. Focus on building a friendship before becoming lovers. Get to know them for who they are without letting attraction get the better of you. Have patience. Yeah, they're saying a long term a relationship will take time with that king of pentacles seven of pentacles give them time really build a friendship with them because whatever you were doing in the past with the tower you may have let attraction get the best of you for some of you right because of the devil right that you know the lust was blinding that you um, missed some red flags can be a possibility let's get you this love fortune teller here secretly yearning for you i told you right there's, there's someone in denial they're saying i don't have feelings for you but they're secretly yearning for you by the way do you want to see the bottom deck energy i completely forgot about that i'm obsessed with you i'm so crazy for you i do whatever it takes to always have you in my life yeah someone who's obsessed but pretending like they don't care fear is blocking connection which is why they're taking their time and there's outside influences 
And wasn't I saying, new love will find you. Yeah. If it doesn't work out with this, new love will find you. Something that's more aligned with you. Star, two of cups. Dishonest can't be trusted. Seven of swords. Those of you that I was getting that superficial vibe, you know, oh, secret admirer, they were watching you from afar. Becoming a better person. I think you, you are evolving, you're growing, you're stepping into your power with that Queen of Wands. not calling you yeah you're on a break a lot of you i was getting no contact and that is how you were seeing them right someone not communicating they're resisting the connection although although they want to return there's someone better some of you, this person had that mentality that grass is greener on the other side. But for others of you, if someone ghosted you, they're avoiding you with not calling you, your guides are saying you deserve better. And there is someone better, right? Whoa. Yeah, karmic cycle. Devil. Love bombing. That is pretty straightforward. Let's get you this deck as well. Any additional clear that this is your overall energy for the year as well, tower. And look, we have the similar imagery here. Your de your guides definitely want to reinforce this message. Look at that. Upheaval is shaking the foundation of your security. Question your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Are they naive or blinding you? Necessary imminent change. Yeah, your guides are saying you'll have to make some changes here or we're making them for you. It may feel uncomfortable, right? Change is never easy, but it's for your highest good here is what is coming through. Because how things are, um, it's not serving you any longer here. This doesn't, it can be relationships. It can be a thought process here as well. We have overcoming challenges. You are on the right path, even though it may feel like an uphill climb at times. Deal with any obstacles as they pave the way to your success. Yeah. Slowly but surely, with Seven of Pentacles, that is a card of patience, you will get there. Whatever goals you have in mind, wherever you set your intention to, you will see growth there, right? So keep pushing forward. You're on the right track, they're saying. Keep doing you, keep focusing on yourself. But yes, Leo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.